Angie Olson never got over the loss of her mini schnauzer Sophie. She was my everything. She tried filling that void by getting another one. She found a woman in this Facebook group who claims to be a breeder named Mari selling puppies for $650. She, she had friends, mm -hmm. you know, on Facebook. She had other Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. So it looked very real. Mm -hmm. And she sent me pictures of this adorable little puppy. And she said her name was Lucy. She was almost 12 weeks old. They communicated for weeks. On Saturday, they agreed to meet halfway in Muncie, Indiana. Olson sent $700 total on Apple Pay, but an hour into the drive, red flags. And I got a text from the breeder's husband saying that they had just been in uh, a bad accident on their way down. They told Olson the puppy was fine and connected her with what they claimed was a freight company to get the dog delivered, even showing crates being loaded onto a plane. Then they tell me that her crate was damaged and they needed a $600 crate rental fee to get her here. And I was like, there's no way. At that point, she knew it was a scam. I was embarrassed, completely embarrassed that this had happened. How could I let this happen? I found this post from a woman in Florida warning people after she was also scammed by the same person in March. What happened to Marley Roldan was identical, but Roldan got scammed not just for the puppy, but for $2,700 more from the fake freight company. Roldan says the admin of the group was the fake breeder who scammed both women. They get people like this because we love puppies. We're getting a puppy because we love them, so our emotions get the best of us. Morella Porter, Local 12 News. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.